Hey guys, it's Dee. I hope you guys are doing well. I am back today with a craft video. I made this um, baby girl themed assemblage box a couple of days ago and I just put the finishing touches today and I thought I will film and show you guys. So here it is. And so the very back print, if you guys can see, is vintage wrapping paper and it is like a Cupid doll. Um, it is adorable. I think maybe that was the inspiration for this box when I saw that I thought, okay, I think I can start doing it finally um, because I think the last box I made might have been in December, so it's been a while. So I have a card that says congratulations on your new baby girl um, and then the girl is like this um, glittery paint. You can see just part of it and then there's a vintage black and white photo that I found at an antique mall. Um, it was rather large so I cut it down and then in the corner here we have a rattle and then um, we have a spool here with two different colors and then the spool um, you know has the hole on the top so I went ahead and just stuck a mirror in there and that's just like from a vintage dollhouse furniture set. And then, so we have a wooden rocking horse here. And then I have another little card. It says for baby and I glued it in the back so you could still open it kind of if you want to. Let's see, yeah. That's the message that's in there. So I kind of left it like that so you could open it if you wanted to see it. And then we have this doll. It is marked, I think, Hong Kong on the back. Um, it's like a very, it's either celluloid or just like a thin plastic. And then we have this block and this um, Gerber cover, wait, lid, um, that's kind of repeated from the other box that I did. If you guys haven't seen the baby boy themed box, you should see, uh, definitely go check that out and then check this one out because there are some similarities in the composition and some of the items that I've used. Um, and then in the back, I kind of used a spool to prop it up. Um, so if you were to turn it to the side, you can see it sitting back there. Um, I wanted it kind of further in the front than in the back, so that's why I did that. So on the side here, I have this card that says, congratulations on the new baby. I cut it down. I love that it had the feather detail, so... Um, I left that in there, I trimmed that down and put that on one side and then this on the other side and it kind of moved after I did that. So I have to fix that. After I glued it, um, I think letting it sit in a couple, sit for a couple of days, it kind of moved. And I'm still kind of deciding what I want it to put here. So maybe I will put something um, else. And then of course the back I just left undone. So this is the front here. I have rickrack on the top and the bottom. And then I have these uh, buttons here that are fabric buttons that I added. So on the top here, we have a rocking chair and it's sitting on top of this metal tin. And I like that the price tag is still showing there, 20, 69 cents. So we have the rocking chair that I glued down and then we have like a, little drum, a little whistle, and a bottle, kind of like things, you know, a baby might play with. And then over here, I have a pair of doll shoes. And then I have this, um, uh, I think it kind of looks like a pelican, but I think it's supposed to be a stork. And someone, when I hauled this, someone told me that it was a uh, vintage cripples, like it would pull, you would attach the ribbon that no the string that would go on the crib sheets I think and then it would pull it to the corner or something like that and um so I thought that fit nicely and then I have him holding a um I think it's like a diaper pin maybe and I was going to hang something on here but I, I wasn't sure if that would hang too low and then like cover 
the front section. I think if I found something that was like maybe that tall, it would be fun to find something that could go. I know I have a hanger. Um, where is that? But it was blue. I know I have it here somewhere. Let's see. I'm trying to reach here. Um, not sure where that is at the moment, but anyway, um, that's one of the things that I thought about maybe adding to this, but here it is guys. I hope that you like this. Um, let me know what you thought about this box and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I wanted to show you guys um, some of the things that's left over that could be an inspiration for another box that could be, I was thinking like maybe like a girl's tea party type of box. So I had this coaster that I wanted to use with the pink elephant. I thought maybe this could be like a rug to the tea party or maybe like a um, tablecloth. I have to find the table. So I pulled this card to use um, in the box, but it didn't quite fit where I thought it wanted to, so I passed on that. Um, there's this little bow, and then there's another block here. We have a teapot, and that's what made me think maybe I could use the teapot to as like the main theme for the other one. And then here are some random cards that I kind of, when I went through my stash and pulled out all the things that I needed, these are some of the ones that I pulled, all the baby ones. So I definitely have a good amount to get started on another box here, so I think I might do that. Um, here is a high chair, and um, it did come with a crib. I'm not sure where the crib is. I'm trying to see if there's a marking here. No marking. Okay, and then we have another rocking chair. We have just this little box that might provide some height. Uh, another rattle here. I think that's a little duck. Some flowers. Another rattle. And then this little girl, I think she might be a candle holder possibly. So maybe she can go in a new box. There was this adorable pacifier that's like a, um, made like glass, I wanna say, or crystal. Um, I also wanted to put this in the box, but it didn't quite make it. So there's that. And then we have another one of those tins. So these are just a couple of things that I had left over. So I think I will maybe try to pull together something to do with um, like a tea party type of thing. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you guys in the next video.